right, guys, let's go to the weather forecast uh, approaching 515 now on this Thursday morning. We are 16 days deep into the month of April and uh, we continue to seem like we're going backwards like uh, like we would be in uh, November and we're trending towards December, January. We're going in the wrong direction. High temperatures again today, lower 40s at best. The average at 59 degrees. I do have a decent day upcoming though by Saturday. Just hold in there, but some wintry weather to contend with uh, still in the short term. And we do have these freeze warnings that uh, were put up from the National Weather Service yesterday afternoon for the time period we're in right now. Temps have dropped into the 20s for many of us, but there's actually been some lake effect clouds and a few isolated snow showers, bursts of snow in the overnight and still on the radar screen. So where those clouds are more prominent, we actually have temperatures more like around 30 to 32 degrees. Get to those in a second. Look around the country, though. It is not just chilly here, but out westward and a big expanse of real estate there with temps well below normal. So this pattern has been uh, was expected last week to come about, and we are in the middle of it right now. We'll start to gradually climb out of it as we go through the upcoming weekend. Temperatures 27 at GR, 25 at Ionia, those lower 30 is closer to the lake shore and a west or southwest breeze around 5 to 10 miles per hour gusting a little bit higher than that in Holland feels like temperatures though in the upper teens to lower 20s so that is a chill to contend with as you step outside cold to flurry around at 7 a.m. maybe even a light snow shower for somebody partly sunny skies though will materialize after a max temp yesterday of 36 degrees, I think we're only getting back to around 40 or 41 today. Yeah, so it is going to be quite chilly. Take a look at the uh, radar. This is around the Midwest, of course. There are some light uh, snow showers. A couple of those have been briefly on the heavier side here in the overnight. So depositing a new dusting or light coating for a few of us, not for all of us, certainly. But as we zoom on in and hone in on a few of these snow showers, you can see these dropping southward through southern Kent County and where those deeper purples are showing up. That's where briefly uh, visibilities can be reduced and along the lakeshore near South Haven southward uh, into extreme northern Berrien County. Look out for a new dusting there in the shore term, but those will start to wind down through the mid to late morning. Then we look out to the west and you see a new mass of clouds gathering. Perhaps you've been hearing about a snow system that might affect us overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. That is still on track to do so. Looks like the heaviest snows though will be remaining just to our south across northern Indiana, but we will begin to see the northern edge of that snow arrive, say around four or five o'clock in the morning on Friday. So uh, just shy of 24 hours from now, it does look like some snow will move in even a little bit further northward than this RPM model suggesting. But the bottom line is those counties right up against Indiana may pick up uh, a couple inches of snow, perhaps a few inches of sloppy snow by the time this exits tomorrow afternoon. And then I talked about some improvement in the days ahead that will be on Saturday. Folks, we got a great look in Saturday afternoon as southwest winds pick up and drive temperatures back into the middle 50s, but not before. Here we are, one to three inch type of a snow, I think, for southern sections and to more like a dusting, a coating or so in GR tomorrow morning and early afternoon. Only getting back to 42 degrees, though, on Friday, Alyssa and Brody. So today and tomorrow feeling wintry with wind chills well down into the 30s, but a nice day. Beautiful day on Saturday. A few more clouds. Could be a few sprinkles on Sunday, nothing too big, and then gradually gaining some momentum back into the upper 50s by Wednesday. Anthony, thanks.